if there's one thing elite level judo players have going for them is we have really strong hands okay and you have to be able to have strong hands because you have to be able to relax enough to hold on to it so that you have dexterity but as you have that dexterity you have to be able to snap like a whip in order to create power okay so as an example right if i'm in this position i'm holding on to the gi okay and i have dexterity get in a stance like getting like a no righty right you're righty yeah just so that they can see i have dexterity where my hand has play and i can move my partner but at any time, like I, I have the ability to snap and hit with my hand. So I wanna be able to make sure I have that power of dexterity where nothing is happening. And then when I want, boom, I can hit him with the power that I have in just my wrist where, boom, and I can push nice and quickly through that position. So we're here, nope, turn a little bit. That way they can see, turn a little bit, there you go. So when I'm here, this hand is always having action, right? I always want to be able to move my hands around the gi and then move my body. Like we're together right now. I understand that as a judo player where everything is touching all the way through, which means when I move my body, my partner moves. Okay. And that's an important distinction between that and this. Stay here. Right. No flex. There you go. And then nothing happened. Right. I'm moving my feet, but I'm not getting that same reaction as being able to lock this out and then move him with almost no strength, right? I'm having a perfectly nice conversation and I can still flex my core from a good position and move him, okay? Versus he flexes a little bit and I flex a little bit and now stay there, I tried to move him. There, I can't do it. Even if I'm here, flex and don't move. See, I can find that angle, no problem. I just understand how to, I have the ability to move my hands into different positions to do different things that can move my partner effectively. I'm not just here, flex, and I'm not just staying here. I have that ability to find that space, move my partner, and then throw my partner with relative ease, okay? So I wanna make sure I have that ability to move my hands from here, right? Stand square, nope, stand square. Nice and square, there you go, just stand there. You wanna have that ability where, boom, I can knock him off balance. Boom, see, see how his head came forward, his hips go back? So when I knock him back, boom, and he goes back, I can pull him. And I get that wave happening with my hands. The bigger that wave is, the easier the throw. And it all comes from using your hands and moving your feet. It's not really power, okay? I have strength in my hand and able to snap the gi relatively hard so that I can get that reaction, right? Where, you have that snap and that whip. That's what you really wanna be focusing on when you're practicing energy call me when you're here, right? Boom, boom, boom. Snapping that key, being able to use the jacket in order to turn. It's not just here and flex, here and flex. Even when you watch like highlights from like international judo events where people are doing energy call me's, you can see the key jacket is moving all the time around the body. This has play, it has motion, okay? You have to be able to have that play in the hands in order to move and have the dexterity in your own body. If I keep my hand here, I can only get to here. But if I lift the jacket up, now I can look forward so that I can hit my big throw, okay? It all comes from having that mobility in the hands and being able to move your partner with just your hands and putting them in the right position and being able to snap the gi around to move your partner. So give it a shot at your dojo, practice with your partner, good solid square stance, and just try to move them around.